With your first news at 6 Sports, here's JT Farabo. <laughs> It was a beautiful morning for some high school baseball in Bismarck with the Demons facing off against the Blue Jays in the first game of the season for both teams. After weather conditions had kept kids off the diamond for quite some time now, I know they were excited to get the 2023 season underway. We'll pick this one up. It's a scoreless game in the top of the second. Carson Orr is on the mound for Jamestown. He delivers the pitch to Demons' Brady Helm. He makes contact and drops the ball into shallow right driving in the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Demon. Bottom half of the second now. Tate Schauner is on the mound for Bismarck. Ethan Gall from Dramestown, he pops this one up deep. And Trayden Keffel, the shortstop, he can't make the grab, or he does make the grab, excuse me. Sack fly, drives in Jamestown's first run. The bat started coming alive for the Blue Jays. He drives this ball to left field. And Jamestown, the bats would stay hot for them. They would win this one 10-3 in the first game of the day. In the second game between the, this pair, the Blue Jays put 10 past the Demons again, this time with no answer. Legacy, they split their doubleheader with Williston. The Coyotes won by 12 in the first game, followed by a Sabres win in a slugfest. Now, we've all seen how much snow is on the ground. We've talked about it quite often, too. The snow has caused a delay start to the spring sports season, and because of this delayed start, coaches have had less time to see their teams truly compete. The Demons girls soccer head coach Michelle Brown tells us how this affects their team and how non-conference games at the start of the season can be used as a measuring stick. Coming down to these final pieces, I think it'll we'll have to play a game. I think that's going to kind of help us um, answer some problem questions and address where our strengths really are. And we are going to have that opportunity Tuesday to play in a non-conference game to kind of see where we're at. And then I think from there we'll be able to build for our conference games. I'm excited for them because I i don't know other coaches might see them differently, but I'm going to put my team out there the same way every time. They're still competitive. You can still learn a lot. Um, I think it'll help us build as a team. I don't want to be, but I'll, I'll also play with it too a little bit, see what you can get from other people. But I am going to still put out our best team every single time. The Demons are playing Mandan tonight in a non-conference matchup at 8 p.m. Also, be sure to tune in tomorrow as we put Demon midfielder Peyton Newmiller in this week's Sports Spotlight. They finally get to play. Yes, they do. I'm wait. sure they've been waiting. All right, we'll be right back after this.